Christ, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Are you okay? Well, it's just that you seemed a bit upset when you hung up. I don't know what you are even talking about. Okay, let's just chalk it up to the hormones. So how exactly do you plan to out the poor bastard? Well, I have a cover. I'll be the new theater director and head instructor at the College of Arts. And they've agreed to rename the theater in my honor. Promoted to head lecturer. Oh, very, very pithy. Not to worry, May. Your secrets are safe with me, you baby gorilla. But don't forget, a banana in hand is worth two in the tush. Once the newly renovated George Bittenhoff Theater opens and I audition for Romeo and Juliet, they'll flock to the theater like moths to a blowtorch. I suppose you'll be teaching all the young actors your beat and all technique? Naturally. Natural mo. How do you plan to teach acting without any training? I've been acting all my life. I began playing a role in grade school because the teachers didn't like me and my classmates didn't understand me. My childhood was very lonely. You never told me this about you. My grade school teachers labeled me an outcast. Oh, the nuns tried to tame me. So guess what? I played the role of the greatest misfit of all time. I was in fourth grade the first time they caught me smoking in the boys' room. Incidentally, that was how I got my nickname Hoover. Well, I truly didn't know that you have a heart whatsoever, George. And I'm going to come out to see you when your theater opens. Oh, you betcha. I am tingling with excitement. I'm going to give you just a little taste of what you're in for. Come on, come on, George. Oh, I got the cream God. ready. Come on. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that is fucked up. Oh. Was that me? Mm -hmm.